All right, and we're back. Hopefully this time we can be a little bit less pathetic, hey? Because that was uh, that was a bad show in the last episode. Uh, don't want to linger on that too much, because uh, it was basically just a compilation of me failing. But uh, enough of that. Let's move on. We're just going to collect these notes and work our way down the snowman. Very gently, I might add, because I'm not confident anymore. These levels have reached a skill level that I'm not keeping up with very well. I'm a present! Give me to someone sad! Someone sad, eh? Ah, I wonder who that could be. Could it have something to do with the igloo? We'll see later on in the level. Um, there's a flight pad there, but I won't take it. I'm going to walk down the snowman's pipe, and in the end of his pipe is another jiggy. Remember, kids, smoking's great for you. It gives you prizes. Not the sled just yet. We'll come back to it. Don't worry. Let's see if I can make this jump. Yes. And a ginger. Prizes. All right. Let's take the sled down. Oh, Jesus, is he on X game mode? Oof. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See ya, buddy. Yeah, yeah, go practice for the big race. Don't worry about your children. Scumbag. Alright. Let's go further exploring, uh, unmolested by snowmen, eh? Let's see what we can find. Now, we were here before. Ooh, a mumbo skull. And the little jiggy, eh? Ooh, I reckon Banjo's little toes hit the water then. And that should open. Now, I never got that that exterior of the level is an advent calendar. You know those little calendars you get like the little chockies in for Christmas? I never got that as a kid. I don't know why. It's pretty obvious when you think about it. But yeah, just one of those things that never clicked into my stupid little child brain. Now the rest of this level, if memory serves, should be pretty, should be a bit of a cakewalk. It's mostly just running around collecting now. Oh, but Windy, that's the whole rest of the game. Yeah, but uh, what I mean is, there's no tricky, oh, there's no tricky snowman enemies to catch. This over here is probably the trickiest part left in the level. So what, I'll tell you what, let's do it now. Now this bit, as a, again, as a kid caused me issues, um, I've learned as an adult, it's more about rhythm. Protect us from twinkly munches as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. So yeah, you gotta knock these dudes out before they eat your, your twinklies. And it's, uh I'm already falling to pieces. It's a, it's mostly about rhythm, so you gotta try and get them... The best strategy is to line them up so they all go down at the same time. It can be a bit tricky though. It can be a bit finicky. But yeah, you see how I've got a good rhythm going here? Another problem is they're so low, it's hard to hit them with this attack. I think you're meant to do a, a like a ground pound, but that's slower and it's annoying. Oh, look at that. We got tons of- how did I fail this as a kid? You know, this is one of those things. How did I mess it up so badly? Okay, all the lights are in the tree. 
Good job, us. Phew, that was close, but we made it. Now switch us on. Oh, turn me on, Banjo. Mm. If you want to meet up with Banjo, call 1-500-BEAR-BEARS. Just get rid of the ice. It was cold as ice. We'll grab these while we're here. Might as well. Ooh, MLK. Look at that. MLK. MLG. It's ain't my... I'm sorry. It's ain't my Luther King, alright? I got my acronyms mixed up. Yippee, be a star. You'll find your reward. Oh, oh my god. I gotta stop doing that. So yeah, be a star and you'll find your reward. A little riddle for you, huh? It it just means go through the star at the top of the tree. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this done. We only got a minute. We got a minute to win it with Guy Fieri. Come on, peeps. Oh, I'm running a bit low on red feathers. I better keep an eye on that. Just go through. Yeah. Be the best policy with the flying is just to be gentle. Don't rush it. Oy. Like I nearly did. Oh, it can be, yeah, no. It can be real finicky, this. Come on. Go through. Yes! Hey, we got a little jiggy waiting for us. Okay, now that was the last difficult part of this level. And by difficult, I mean difficult for a five-year-old me who's an idiot. Now that I've said that, though, I'm probably going to die at some point, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Eee, little mumbo. Oh, not a very good Christmas tree. It's infested with bloody termites. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Boo, it's cold. Nice warm backpack for me, too. Well, um, I'll tell you what, we'll get these on the way back down. Better get some eggs. And then we'll grab that jiggy while we're here, eh? Just, just to clean up after ourselves. Get some feathers. I'll tell you what, I do, I love any time this game puts a lot of one item in a row, just to hear the re the repeated uh, little sound effect that they got going here, the little flute with the feathers and the jiggies and the note, well not jiggies, they don't put jiggies in a row, but the notes. Something about that sound just so satisfying to me. Alright, well, now that that's over with... Like, we're blasting through this level, by the way. We've done a legitimately big portion of the level already. Uh, next up, let's go pay a quick visit to Wazza. Huh? Hey, Wazza. Yikes, a nasty, fierce bear. Hey, I'm not fierce. Hey. I kill you. You can't, you can't kill the wars. Every time. Every time I think I'm doing the one move and I'm doing that move. Let's have a quick look up here because I think, yep, a little extra life. Actually, actually, what am I doing? We should collect the little gold feathers while we're here because I keep wasting them. Alright, that's the end of the uh, was a portion for now. Man, now we've got to go all the way around the other way. Oop. Oh, look at that. The third present. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. Ooh. Little Mumbo Skull, you see that in the water? But we can't, well, we can grab it, but we'll get hurt, and it's not worth that. Oi! OB Hive! Hey, did you like that joke? I thought that went up all by myself. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll take a little detour quickly. We're just gonna head up the snowman scarf to collect the notes and the things. 
Come on, does no one else find that satisfying? The whole reason I was silent through that was just because it was so damn nice. I didn't want to spoil it. Put it in the comments section if you find that, uh... Oh, I forgot the word. How did I forget a word I just used? Satisfying. Put it in the comments if you find that satisfying. Hell, put it in the comments if you're there. Alright, alright. Like, I, I'm, I'm being deadly serious right now. We've nearly finished this level. Oh, there's Mumbo over there, chilling in his skull. <laughs> Get it? Chilling? <laughs> uh, I'll be here all day. Literally all day. Did we grab- oh, look, there's a Mumbo skull. I thought we missed something. While we're here, I might as well just check. Oh, that's Boggy. Wanting to start a race. Grab the notes around you there, son. Yeah, so Boggy's a gambling addict. He wants to race. We'll race your numb butt! Sorry, you're too big for my sled. I can only race someone smaller. Okay, mate. Okay. Bit rude. But yeah, so he'll only race someone smaller. Hey, yeah, sorry. Just uh, me butting in during the editing process. Uh, I've just noticed that... Boggy says he can't race us because his sled is too small, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, did we not just ride his sled down the scarf to crash into his gut? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think Boggy might be on drugs. And as you saw before, there's a Mumbo transformation. Ah, I wonder what that's going to be, huh? Place your bets. Quickly, place your bets now, because I'm heading there in a second. What's the Mumbo transformation? Hey, you know, a little honeycomb for me too, huh? Ah, um, oh, that's right, we're meant to fly over there. I could just run through, I guess, and get a little bit hurt, but... I'll do it the dev intended way. I feel like that's more respectful. Could, I'm so tempted to beak barge right now, but I know that it would just end up in me getting hurt. So let's just take it the slow way for now. And to the skull we go. Hey, wake up, bonehead. <laughs> oh man, I am I am just on fire with the zingers today. Whoa, this mumbo's rich. He's got notes. He's got a jinjo. This is the well-off mumbo, eh? Alright, I hope you placed your bets. Let's have a look. It's a walrus! Bonjour gone all fat, got big teeth. Her, her. Wow, okay. Okay, Mumbo. But yeah, we're a walrus. Not the most useful transformation, I have to say. He sort of just bounces along. He is immune to cold water. So, in that respect, it's a lot like the, uh, the alligator. I guess crocodile. It'd be crocodile, because Mr. Vile is a crocodile. It's, it's similar to the crocodile transformation in that, except you don't have an attack. Which, you know, is a bit of a letdown, but hey, it's a walrus. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That is the 100th note. I, t I keep telling you guys, we're, we're close. We're nearly there. Now, we just have to head over this way. Ah, pick it up, mate, eh? You're taking your bloody time, isn't it? Jesus. Grab the skull. Unfortunately, today, I think we'll skip the eggs. There's always more eggs, guys, right? Don't worry. We'll skip the eggs. We'll head back to our Bud Wazza. Hey, Waz. Wow, another walrus. Take this, but watch out for us. Oi! Oi! 
A smelly brown bear and ugly bird. I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna smack him. Let's have a little glance in Waz's cave, hey? See what we can see. Oh, this is nice. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Waza's cave. Thank you, Waza. Oh, lovely fire. And the most important thing, friendship, eh? We've made some friends today. What a heartwarming note to end this episode on. And yes, this is where we will end this episode. Just remember that just like Waza, I love you all very much, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Alright guys, catches.